Hey, this is Wendy Kalishwayo. Can you please help me with question 11 here? But if you look at what we are looking at, NLA1, right, is equal to exterior angle is equal to x plus y, right? This is because of the exterior angle. Uh, was sent to us by Tabiso and see what the story is with this particular exciting question. So we are told that B, C, P and Q are four points on the ground such that B, P and C lie in a straight line. Right. Now, before we even go far, this is very important for us to understand. Um, we are dealing with 3D geometry in this case, 3D trigonometry to be specific. So there are going to be things happening on the horizontal plane, there are going to be things happening on the vertical plane. And there's also another plane that you might be looking at. So there's a lot of things that you're actually dealing with. And you have to understand, it's not easy to draw some of those pictures, guys. Pictures, guys. So I want you to think about what the story is and try to imagine this. We are first talking about points that are lying flat on the ground in the context of the horizontal plane. We might go back and start talking about the vertical plane. Don't confuse the two. Please be careful. Right. Now, this question says those four points, B, P, C, and Q, are lying flat on the ground. They are on the horizontal plane. Okay, cool. And then B, P, C forms a perfect straight line. Now, the statement continues. The love letter continues and says to you, AP is a vertical pole. There we go. A vertical pole. It's going upright, straight to the top. Right. The angle of elevation of A from Q is X. Where is this x? Well, it's right there next to q. That's where the angle of elevation is of a from q. And then, while the angle of elevation of a from c is given to us as y. So this one is actually given to us as y. Now, the length of pc is r units. We can see that it's labeled for us nicely there. And we're also told that ab is equal to aq. It's very important for you to always, always make sure you read the love letter against the diagram. If there's anything in the love letter not appearing in the diagram, update the diagram. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you might miss on key information that is not on the sketch but on the love letter. Right. It's very important, guys. You can't just allow people to make an intro and never give them the opportunity to finish their story. Read the story until the end and then start after that to start responding. Very important. Now, if I go back to this and try to find the solution of whatever they're asking, Right, we are told here in this case, let's see what the question is, that we need to show that AQ is equals to R tan Y divided by sine X. Okay, cool. So the story here is pretty easy. We want to find this AQ. This is basically what the whole story is all about. We want you to find what AQ is. Okay, cool. So where is AQ? AQ is this distance here. This is AQ. This is basically what AQ is. So we want to find out how long that is. Now, AQ is a member of triangle APQ. It is a member of triangle APQ. If I want to find it, I need to focus on this triangle and try to do some trick there. Right, there's A here at the top, there's P at the bottom, and there's also Q right here at the bottom. Now, we've got X so far, and you've got an angle of 90 degrees. Right. Now, remember this. If you're dealing with 3D, guys, you need a minimum of three things for you to do something on that triangle. You need three things. If you've got two things, it's not enough. You must find the other thing somewhere. I don't know where, but on that particular question, there might be things that will guide you and help you to understand what you can do in order to figure out the third element of the triangle that can assist you to be able to solve the question. So, so far, we only have two things. That's not enough. We must find the third element somewhere in order to enrich the current triangle we are interested in working on. Right. Now, if you look here, this side AP is a key side. This side AP here. The tower, this side AP is very key because it's a member of triangle APC, which has got three things. Triangle APC, which I'm now going to highlight in a different color, this triangle here is very, very useful. Why is this a useful triangle? Well, it's got number one here, it's got the angle here. Number two, it's got the length here of R. It also has number three, that angle of 90 degrees. So it's got three things. It means I can do something on it. And that is exactly where I'm going to start my argument on triangle APC. Right. Now, let's go back and put that triangle APC and analyze it. Okay, cool. So here's triangle APC. It's got A here. It has P here. It's got C here. It has Y. It has 90. And it's got a length of R units. Right. We're going to attempt to work out the length AP because that length of AP is also a member 
of the site we're looking for in our triangle of interest with Q here, P here, and A here. This is our ultimate question, but if I know what AP is, I'm going to just transfer it to the other triangle and then enrich my other triangle. Very important uh, uh, indeed. Right. Now, if I move uh, back and try to find that, you'll notice that we are trying to actually relate the side that is opposite, right? The opposite side with the adjacent side. And the trick ratio that marries opposite and adjacent is tan. So the tan of angle Y is opposite, right, divided by the adjacent side. Cross multiplication, AP, will simply come out as R tan of Y. That's what AP is. Now I'm going to take this length and transfer it to that triangle of interest, which is the one we're trying to figure out the side of, right? So this is apparently R tan of Y. Okay, cool. Now, what am I looking for, grade 12? So what am I exactly looking for here? I'm looking for the hypotenuse of this triangle. This is the hypotenuse of the triangle. But in the context of what we are dealing with, that R tan Y will just simply be the opposite side uh, of what we are actually using in this particular question. So I'm going to say sine of X is the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side. Right. And cross multiplication, smart cross multiplication, just interchange these two. That's cross multiplication right there which makes AQ to be equal to AP divided by the sine of X. Right. Now, if you simplify further, you know what AP is. We found it. So it means that AP is R tan Y. That must be divided by the sine of X. And that actually takes us to the value of what we wanted to prove, which is the length of AQ. Very nice question. Thank you very much for sending it through. I hope you understand what is going on. It's about three Ds. Find a triangle that has got three things. If your triangle of interest does not have three things, find the other common site from other triangles. You'll be able to get what you are trying to actually solve or work out. Thank you for staying with us.